she's going to get f5, and no, it's maybe not so easy. I'm not 100% sure anyway. If I can get knight e5 in, I'll have to look now. And try and actually avoid getting slaughtered here on the king side. Maybe knight f8 to g6. Or take here for knight f3. That would seem quite. Isn't the knight f3 winning the queen? Ooh. I just won the queen. Oh, that's good. <coughs> that brilliant queen sack. Might I check the knight f3. Wow, this is getting a bit crazy. <laughs> that saves me, doesn't it? And queen c3. It's falling to bits. There's Queen F3 after that. Well, it's getting mated there. Um, I don't know, Queen C2? Coordination. Just, let's let him have that. Seems to be a queen up. <laughs> oh man, queen up! Can I get my king in? Well, that was a bit silly, actually. Why would I get my king in? What about just queen e2 for queen f3, hitting the rook, bishop e5 after? Where's his rook going? There might be bishop g3 coming up. Knight e4 for queen f2. Yes! Yes! GM stop! 2, 4, 5, 3! Shanklin goes down! Ah, uh, yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, man! I thought you did a brilliant queen set there. Oh, what a, what a win straight in the morning. It's 6 in the morning here. About 6.15 in the morning, UK time. Haven't even finished my first coffee. Unbelievable. Hi all. I noticed on a recent chess base uh, news report that Magnus Carlsen is playing in Brazil right now. And I also noticed uh, Grandmaster... Uh, Shankland is playing Sam Shankland, who I remember playing a fond memory uh, of a Blitz game, which there were quite a few comments on YouTube about. Um, I had uh, had just played Knight e5 here, and he he looked to be playing a brilliant uh, Queen sacrifice Knight f3. Uh, so the controversy was this deliberate or was this an accident? There's a weakness of the last move, which often actually decides uh, Blitz games. In a longer game, you check for for such things usually that if you're going to leave an issue with your like implementation of any idea in that very last move there's all a weakness it's like coming away from the defense of f3 so I pounced with knight f3 check but there is seemingly a powerful coordination of three pieces here so there was a question here um, that uh, was this dangerous or not uh, so was was the queen sack sound so if the rook takes g4 check I played knight g5, um, which I think technically is, is a better move than bishop g5. On bishop g5, it seems uh, this is not good for black, this position. So this might actually justify the queen sack. What is actually nearly plus four with rook takes e7. You can see, for example, if rook takes, then it's a termination. With knight takes e7, checkmate. Uh, so here it's difficult for black to do anything. If rook d8, uh, then for example rook c7, and we're threatening white is threatening knight e7, and black is in big trouble. Rook e8, rook e7. Uh, now can white actually make progress? Well, knight e4 here, apparently, uh, is a strong move now. So if uh, knight takes e4, then rook e 
e takes e4 and you see that actually I, my pieces are just completely destroyed here white is actually plus six apparently um, it's it's a kind of zugzwang almost if f6 then rook e7 uh, and it's and it's it's diabolical now uh, this is there's now rook g e4 and crashing for on the on the eighth rank for example a4 rook g e4 and it's a, it's a forced mate here uh, actually rook g7 check is even better than, than trying to crash your rook takes g5 and here rook e7 so it's actually quite devastating if in that line so the queen sack almost has has a basis to it, even if it was accidental white's pieces are converging but it seems that as i played it knight g5 black is actually better here uh, because now this doesn't quite this isn't so bad white's best if bishop takes g5 bishop takes rook takes so in the game I played something different actually here I played rook h2 but let's just have a look simply if bishop takes g5 could have been played instead of rook h2 so bishop takes g5 rook takes g5 and it was pointed out in the comments that this is actually a harmless position uh, so I think the lesson here is um, if, if, if your king's getting attacked uh, so there's a big difference uh, between uh, blocking a check here I think in this one it leaves a pin piece for longer in the position a, a very bad pin piece Bishop g5 and that doesn't help black at all and they're still you know, mating that so there's pieces that are just not doing anything they're kind of trapped so but with Knight g5 I was winning anyway so but um technically so just just that King f8 if I mean could the King actually have even gone here no if King h7 then Rook h1 is mate or just Rook g7 is mate but with King f8 it does seem as though that's the end of White's attack uh, in the game I, I just played a different move though in this position which is actually Houdini falls third choice it's still plus four so just uh, play rook h2 check uh, so now I'm getting that use of the f3 square again with check so king takes knight f3 check it's another way for black to win this uh, after king h3 uh, that might not have been technically best but king, king h1 knight takes g5 this this is no problem I think f f4 is is too slow I can just take here and there's no problem really for black so th this this was a fine resource as well in terms of winning the game it still wins the game uh, and it just takes away uh, white's attack and after that it wasn't really a big problem taking on c3 as well helps and the pieces are kind of repulsed um, I think it's okay just to take this this knight as, as in the game if I play something like rook f8 this is I mean the, the problems are over now anyway but but this makes it harder because knight e4 it's, it looks as though white's still doing stuff so why not just simplify down with e takes d6 it just gets rid of all the attacking pieces making the position you know as easy as possible to play which is a great thing to do in blitz chess uh, after the, there was no problem really here at all uh, to finish off the game so I thought I'd revisit this classic game just because I've seen uh, uh, Shankland's name recently in the chess space article uh, Sam Shankland Shanky Panky as he's known on the ICC I thought uh, it'd be interesting just to revisit that briefly because there were some comments on YouTube at the time I hope you enjoyed that comments or questions on YouTube thanks very much